to get us warmed up for this uh, pitch here in this uh, discussion thread, I wanted to return to a previous lecture to uh, remind us where we are in the process, um, and this is a process we'll re-enter a couple of times. Remember that for uh, creating your second or first writing assignment, we've got a few steps here that we're working through together, and we've been in this first step where we're exploring the archives, we're kicking around ideas, we're getting to know a little bit about the region and archival research more generally. We're um, uh, digging into the various elements available in the archives. Hopefully, uh, we are taking advantage of, of, of some of the analyses, um, uh, support materials that I've provided, and, and, I'll, and I'll toss in here again as well, just as a reminder, so that we can uh, get to know the artifacts themselves, but also the catalog descriptions that are available for us, and then the questions that still remain after looking at these items and artifacts within the, within the um, collections. So um, we need to prepare then for the pitch. Um, and so the first thing, remember what we've kept in mind throughout is we wanted to, uh, the first step demanded of us a couple of things, both rigor and play. We were to learn together something about Northeast Texas in general so that we can better understand what you're what's being found in the archives, maybe the significance of, of that, and also what the larger um, questions are uh, driving um, our understanding of, uh, of those recurring themes as they exist beyond commerce. So keeping your mind open, uh, what Gold calls it the beginner's mind, right? That what are some of the stories that are still left untold? Materials that seem to be out of step with what the research is telling us about the area, or maybe in step and worth exploring further. Remember here too, and for this week, I've asked you to begin exploring the uh, Memories of Northeast Texas uh, collection. Uh, some of you guys have already done that. I provided a preview last week. Um, in Memories of Old E.T., there is a tremendous storehouse of, of materials and ideas that can be remixed for, uh, for this first essay and explored further in your other essays. Uh, that, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to, um, to um, spend time with that book. Um, for this week, explore my, is my code word for um, take a look at the table of contents, read here and there you know, stories that draw that catch your attention, thumb through the, 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 the index and see if maybe some of the one of the items that you're hoping to examine it actually um, uh, shows up in the memories of old ET. So, so think a lot about that. Uh, play, research and imagine, but use all of the tools that you have at your disposal. Think about the elements that draw your attention. What recurring themes are you finding there? What possibilities, what strike you is worth knowing more about? Use some of the strategies for archival research offered in working with the archives. Poke around the archives, but do so with purpose. You are looking for a possible research question, a focal point, a lens, and remember that as you're working through all these details. This is where Zotera becomes so important, if you'll remember from the lecture. Hopefully, as you've been doing your digging around, you've kept track of your exploration by making extensive use of Zotera or some other way of citing. Uh, Zotera is just is the one that um, uh, I'm in love with right now, but you know everybody has their technology that they love. Zotera allows you to cite, to add some tags, to embed some notes, to mark potential like items as related. Keep whatever you use, though. Keep careful watch on the many options available to you and the ones with the greatest potential for your research and composing. Think uh, a lot about that and what's possible within that. 